Here it's been about a week and a half since we installed our bees and it's time for the first actual hive inspection and my lovely wife has made her own forms. Yeah, this hobby includes, it's easy to combine with my second hobby, which is custom form making. None of the other ones really have what I was looking for, so I decided to make my own. more and the main thing here is just to see what they're doing hopefully I could spot the queen but if we can't that's okay because we could know whether she's laying eggs or not so we're going to start on the outside I don't think they've started working these forms yet and then this will make it easier to work without squishing anybody As we get further in, we're starting to see more bees. Now, sometimes these can get very, very heavy. So they do make these cool frame things so you can just set them down and see. Now I've seen them with a lot of pollen lately and it looks like what they're doing is putting the pollen in there and they use that to feed things. So this one looks like all pollen to me, though they've got a good bit of comb on the one side and then the other is pretty blank. Can you lift one of the springs? One of the empty ones on this side, yeah. Alright, so we'll put that one back in. I'll take a quick look for the queen. I don't see her, but she could be very hard to spot. It looks like they're also storing sugar water in this frame too. Looks like up here they have capped uh, sugar water up there, or possibly capped pollen. And here, I'm seeing more capped pollen. Still not seeing the queen. We'll see. Looks like they're building comb really nicely. And do you see these uh, covered ones in the middle? Those are actually uh, capped workers. And if you look, you can see some white larvae in there. And that's the ones they haven't capped yet. Now, I think these are workers because the drone ones are a little bit larger and they kind of protrude out more. But there is a queen here and she is laying. So it's very possible she's on here because I see some eggs. So let's try to spot her, but she can be hard to spot at first. It takes a little while to get used to her. But yes, she is out and she is laying. Yep, there is the queen. Good job. So you can see she has quite a bit larger abdomen. 
and she usually has, they'll disperse, but if she stops, they'll have a, a bunch of bees will crowd around her just to make sure she has everything she needs because they bring her everything. And she looks like she's doing great. I mean, it's only 11 days in, and I'm not seeing any signs of pests like hive beetles and things like that. But yep, she's going at it. I guess we'll pull this last frame just to see what's in there, and then this one will be done. Kind of interesting the way they pick a side and build on that side. This one's stuck a bit. our hive tool to pull it up. First I'm gonna move these over since we know Queen's on the second one. Oh got it. And more of the same I'm gonna read about why some of these pollen seems to be brown, another one seemed to be gold. It could just be different types of flowers, I don't really know. But I'll read about it. And they're storing sugar water. But yeah, they look like they built up a lot of comb. And they're starting to store pollen. I've been seeing them go in and out with pollen for days now. Hmm. There's something I want to take a look at. At the bottom. Would you mind uh, shining that flashlight into the bottom there? I just want to make sure they're not building anything down there. I hope it's just some leaves. Yeah, I think it's just leaves. I just want to make sure it wasn't some kind of pest or something of that nature. And all in all, this hive looks great. Queen's awake, she's laying, everybody seems happy. And we'll just keep checking periodically to feed when they want to add the second brood box. Now hive two, in my mind, is the healthier hive. I see a lot more activity in there, but I think the other one's catching up nicely. So I would expect this hive to have more schedule. Like they've already started propolizing stuff together. And propolis is uh, basically bee glue, and they also use it on stringed instruments. That's what makes them so very, very shiny. All right. Looks like it's pollen and sugar water. Lots of sugar water. And they just started on this frame. Stuck together, not good. I wonder why they built so close together. Holy moly! They've 
built quite a bit on there. I don't see... Oh, I can see some larva. This is all uncapped larva. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's very small, but those little white things on the bottom. So let's take a minute and look for the queen. And I'm not sure what to do about how much that's built out. see her. Can you push that frame over a bit? Wax is breaking down a bit, but that could just be because it's hot. And it looks like they're capping. Could be honey, could be. It's probably nectar, sugar water. And this side is uh, also larva. Once again, I don't see her. catch her in the video afterwards. There's a little more smoke. Looks like all Pollen. And this one too. Lots of pollen. Yeah. And this side they barely started on. Alright, let's try to do what we can to fix the gap problem here. Pressing them together, maybe it'll encourage them to stop doing that. And then I'm going to have to read about it a bit. I'm sure we could solve it. And all in all, it's pretty successful. We didn't see her, but she's obviously there because she's laying. Unless it's a worker laying, but we'll know that because we'll be able to tell in a couple weeks. Right now, we're just going to assume she's in there. And then I'll read about how to fix this little gapping problem we're having, and hopefully, we can do something about that. And all in all, both of them are doing really well. They're going through lots of sugar water. Sometimes it's every other day that I refill this quart size, and then other days I've, they've gone through an entire thing. I refilled this yesterday evening, and it's already half empty on both of them. So we'll do another hive inspection in about a week or so.